you've ever downloaded a movie or shot a video with your camera of your kid or whatever or whatever playing football or skateboarding or something like that and you want to share it but you don't want to send it to another computer you want to put it on a DVD I can help you with that there's, the, you know, there's this program on Linux and Windows it's called DVD D -E -V -E -D. it's pretty good and what you want to do is for all DVD home players um, you want to select video DVD record DVD now through my experience I, I right now for anything else or, you know, right now for anything else go out and buy DVD D excuse me I have the hiccups DVD minus R's because if you get the plus R's only the newer types of excuse me DVD players have the capability of playing plus R's so now what you want to do is you go to here and you your title and you have properties and you name it you know what you know whatever you want like uh, I'm an, Indi an Indiana Jones fan so Indy Anna Jones Jones um, click OK and you add your file let's go to preview and there it is but maybe you know you want to look more professional so just go play okay so you go here and there's play and you go to menu options Now here the text, and here could be you know the title ones. Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the oh shit of the Crystal Skull. That's too big. Holy shit. Show here. And it is. Go down to. Okay. A preview. Fits perfect. And if you want to go smaller, you can. Now, right here is the background. You can change the background. Let's go to my pictures and just select a uh, matrix. That looked pretty cool. And then the sound, you won't be able to hear it on, on here, but once you play it on a movie. And then, and here's the menu position vertical, uh, you know, alignment. You can, you know, where I put play and all that on there. And uh, you can put it at the top, middle, or bottom. And here you can put it on the left, center, you know, left, s center, and right. Just put it in the top left corner. There you go. Check it out. Top left corner. Or you want to do a top right corner. See, there it is, right there. Okay. And uh, you have the options of um, changing the color of the selected of the excuse me of the selected font color for the menu, which would be the play. And then you have this the disk startup options. Jump to the first start. I mean the first title at start at startup. Or show the menu at this startup. Which why would you make a menu and not you know what I mean it's retarded. <laughs> Excuse me. So there you go. And then you just click. Oh, yeah okay. You over here. Select like what kind of DVD or CD you have. This is average DVD. And then you can click it, advanced options. Only convert films with 
film files to compile MPEG files, create a disk structure, excuse me, or create an ISO or a binary or a CUE image ready to burn to, to disk. I highly recommend this. This is very easy. And you can use optimization for multiple core CPUs. I have that. And here is temporary files. It's pretty good. I, re I recommend that. And let's say, um, when you get the disk all done and ready to go and probably disk and it says over 100%, I figure this out. Just click this and I'll adjust it to the, the, you know, the right amount. I don't know why they don't do that in the first place, but it's retarded. But as soon as you click forward, I think there's more options. Let me add a file to make it easier. videos cochines it's one of cochines off the side of the night life audio track one excuse me one volume set you can set this to where if it's really loud if you have small speakers or whatever and you go to advanced options <laughs> excuse me um video format if you like it in white screen or regular screen video excuse me video options scale, you know, add black bars, which this does, or scale the picture to make it like everybody else likes it but me. The quality, you can select how you want your quality to turn out. Audio, and I like this. Create a DVD with 5.1 channel sound. I like th I like that. Or you can go to this, if already has blah blah blah, whatever. And yeah, never mess with this. I, I don't know how to make good videos or DVDs. And that's when you click OK. And then you want to click forward. And you can end them for you know, movie, whatever you want. And save on a desktop. OK. And it starts. Now I'm going to cancel it. Yes. That's about it. That's all I could, you know, say on that. And uh, oh, let me give you a demonstration. If I have the DVD with me, oh, it's, uh, I'll be right back. Okay, I got the DVD with me. As you can see, in Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, I know my handwriting is atrocious. Let's just pop it in and give it a test. Okay. I'll quit that. And I got, I just buy these, <laughs> excuse me, and it, excuse me, it's running the DVD right now, and here we go, see the plus R is, these only work in newer DVD players, just want to cancel, cancel it, right click, excuse me, Right click, open with VLC Media Player. And then I click, we'll let it do its thing. And here is my movie. I think, and you can hear the sound. Well, let me pause my music, I'm sorry. Yes, you can. If you've heard that, that's Indiana Jones, the theme song. And let's go ahead and click play here. Oh, and DVD video. That says it won't show up on your DVD.
Ooh, and another thing I could I forgot, you can set up chapters. You know, we just use a skip button for every five, ten, or how or one minute you can do that if you wanted to. But it's it's a pretty good feature. I, I just forgot to do it on, on this one. And the menu button works and you can fast forward through your movie. And it's pretty well fast. Excuse me. You go to the menu. And you're back. Yeah, semi professional movie you've just created. So thanks. Comment, rate and